Well, hello again, and, I, and welcome to my channel. I'm Fraser from Metalworking in France. I've got a little project on today where um, a client has given me two bars, basically 30 mil diameter. Uh, he wants to, he wants me to put a, well, just face off the ends, which I've already done on the lathe, and then he needs uh, a keyway cut in just in one of the bars. So. Follow me in the next couple of frames and watch me do this. I'm going to be doing this on the Beaver milling machine. So uh, I'll show you how I set this up uh, and, and how this gets machined, okay? Right, well here I'm going to use what's called a wobbler. This thing actually sort of, it can rotate on, uh, well, almost orbital, orbitally. Um, so what I'll do, I'll set that up roughly so it's in the middle. And if you watch this, uh, it's, I'll try and explain over the top of the, the, the noise of the machine, but uh, if not, uh, you'll have to watch what happens. When it, when it gets to the, when I get to the edge of, of this piece of steel, it will kick off slightly, it'll just kick off center. Uh, as I come in on the steel and it starts to rotate, it'll, it'll centralize itself. And then as, it, as, it, as I go in a bit further, just as I touch the edge, complete on the center line of the of the of the wobbler it will kick off to the edge so just watch what the what happens when i do this and uh as i say you might be able to hear me talking over the top of the machine but if not uh, i'll 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 reduce the sound of the of the machine There you go. Now it's now gone off. It's just kicked off a little bit off to the off to the left. Uh, I don't know whether you could see that as it went. I'll try and do it again so that you can you can see it better. Right, that's more or less centralised. As I come in now, I'll just wind in very very slowly. On there you go. It's just gone again. Okay. And then what I need to do with that. I'll take that up, off, away from the job. And then you'll see in the next, in the next frame, I'll show you how I, send, I, how I line it all up by using this dial. Right, we have zero on the dial. That's uh, the, the edge of the uh, wobbler. Uh, so, and the wobbler is 10 millimeter diameter. So I now have to go five millimeters round, all the way round to zero again. So that will put now put me the center of my wobbler on this the edge of the bar. The bar is 30 mil diameter. So now I will wind over another 15 millimeter. So that's five. 10, 15, 15 millimeter. Now the, the, the milling cutter is now set into, I will try and show you, that milling cutter is now set in the middle of this bar this 30 mil diameter bar. So I can now cut the keyway in here. It's got to be 50 millimeter from the end to the end of the, of the keyway. Okay. So then what I need to do is I just need to bring the, the tool, the milling cutter down the, or the end mill down onto the workpiece and then start milling from there. So that little bit of editing needed. It's not actually an end mill, it's a slot drill. And we'll then cut that keyway. So here you can see I'm running the slot drill into the, the workpiece. Uh, I'm only taking half a millimeter cut at a time. Uh, it can't go too quickly because uh, high speed steel, uh, is, it can be quite brittle if you're not careful with it. Um, it's the old, old adage, the, hold, the harder something is, 
then the more brittle it is. So it, 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 it's very prone to breaking. Here I'm just taking the finishing cut. Uh, I've already gone down to the four millimeter depth that I need on the keyway. Uh, I'm just taking another two tenths of a millimeter just so that the, the clearance uh, for the key, uh, it doesn't obstruct the key, the, the key from sliding into or on, on the shaft and onto the other part. Well, there you go. That's another little job complete. Uh, the old beaver did quite a nice job on this. So uh, there, the, there you go. There's the keyway cut in the end of there. So uh, that's not too bad at all. Eight millimeter uh, keyway. Uh, I've had to go down four millimeter for the depth uh, because obviously there's four mil four millimeter in the uh, well whatever this goes into. Um, so it's it's half and half. The the key the the key that goes into it will be four mil uh, eight millimeter by eight millimeter. So there you go. So that's another little job complete. Hope you enjoyed the video. Look out for more videos in the future. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my site. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.